Hey guys, what's up? Serena here from Thrift Diving. So if you remember, last year I made this awesome wooden sign because, well, my basement walls were bare and I just wanted to do an optional frame and add lights. Well, I just finished a kitchen makeover, which I'll be publishing more details about soon, but I had that same problem. The walls were bare and I wanted to make something for over the bay window and the word that I chose was savor. Now, why did I pick the word savor? Well, I'll share something personal with you. I have a condition, it's called achalasia. So this is basically where my esophagus just stops working and I can't swallow. Thankfully, I had surgery last year and I've been having a lot of good success. So savor is what I do with my food because I'm able to eat again. So this is the sign that I really wanted to make to honor this like new relationship that I have with food. Now these stencils, I literally just printed them from my printer and I did the word eat as well because I wasn't sure if I was gonna do eat or savor, but we're sticking with savor. Okay, now I needed to use a drill and drill bits to do pilot holes. Let me tell you why this is important because that jigsaw blade will fit right there in that hole so that you can get close to where you need to cut. Just be careful, don't cut your word. Now the type of blade that I'm using is a scroll blade. It is a lot thinner. So when you need to do sort of like those curly cues and cutting out in between letters, this is the only blade that's gonna allow you to move that jigsaw. You can't do this with a regular jigsaw blade. It just doesn't work. So make sure that you're using a scroll blade. Now, if you don't know how to use a jigsaw, click down below, click up there in the corner because you can do my free tutorial on how to use a jigsaw. I guarantee that you will be using a jigsaw after you watch that. So let's move on to actually cleaning up. So the reason why I'm mentioning cleaning up, it's two reasons. Number one, this is actually a tripping hazard. So when you're cutting things out, like out of the jigsaw, you're gonna have a lot of little pieces around. Just clean that up. And also we're gonna actually be doing some painting. So if you're staining or painting, you don't want that dust in your project. So before you even move on to, to sanding, clean all that stuff up. And now the sanding. Okay, this is where it started to get really interesting with this project. <laughs> so I started sanding with a 150 grit sandpaper and I should have followed with a 220, which helps to smooth everything out, but I didn't. So when I started putting the stain, this is a Java gel stain, I noticed that it was just, ugh, like all the scratching. I just had not removed enough of the scratches and I was not feeling this. It just was not speaking to me. I didn't like it. You see the back part, I wanna point out that it was a little bit messy in the back in terms of cutting that happens with a jigsaw don't worry about it anyway i decided well maybe i'll just put some of this dark stain on top and paint the sides well it was great in theory but the stain looked horrible because i had to put a little bit of wood glue and i didn't sand that out so you could see that on the front and then of course as i started using the white paint what do you think happened of course it got on the stain while well, trying to wipe that was not going to happen <laughs> So finally, I just got to the point where I'm like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to paint this whole thing white. Plus, my kitchen cabinets are already dark, so I really don't want to add one more dark thing to the kitchen. Let's just do white. That's what I envisioned from the beginning. And I just want to tell you, sometimes this happens with projects. Don't be afraid to change directions when you get started. Sometimes you don't have a clear vision of what you want to do when you start, but something feels right or wrong and you go with it. So I put some sticky tabs on the back. And then it was time to hang this in my kitchen. Now remember, this is what my kitchen looked like before I started. And I'll admit, I have always been embarrassed of my kitchen because everything was just mismatched. But now it looks fresh, it looks clean. I love the color and my saver sign. Oh, it's perfect. Now, my videos are a little out of order. You haven't seen my kitchen makeover yet, so stay tuned because I am gonna tell you more about that in probably my next video, maybe this week or next, but just know that if you don't hear from me, it's because I'm doing things behind the scenes, but I'm always working on something. Anyway, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. L let me know, have you done any sort of wall art with a jigsaw? If you have, let me know what you've made, and I will see you next video. Thanks for watching.